Hi friends, this is Abdul Kapoor with teaching and learning uh, tutorial video. Uh, today in pedagogy lesson uh, 14, we'll be talking about the reinforcement and punishment. We will be uh, making difference between these two uh, component. As you know that in the last uh, our lesson, lesson 13, I have uh, explained about the positive reinforcement and the negative reinforcement and what is the difference between them. So today I'm going to uh, share my, you know, uh, the knowledge and uh, experience about the reinforcement and punishment. First, reinforcement and punishment, these are the two different things. Different in what? Now, as yesterday or in my previous video, I discussed that reinforcement is to change the behavior or increase the behavior. It can be negative and positive, but in both cases, enforcement is, means to increase the behavior of an individual. However, punishment means to decrease the behavior. So in simple words, reinforcement, it means adding something and punishment means removing something. Let's see how. You can see here the definitions of a, a reinforcement and punishment. Here, when thinking about reinforcement, always remember that the end result is to try to increase the behavior. I'll be telling you how. Punishment, when thinking about the punishment, procedures are used to decrease the behavior. Means we are going to stop something, we are removing something from them. So let's see for first reinforcement. For example, you tell your five-year-old son, Ali, that if he cleans his room, he will get a toy. Now, what is this? Reinforcement, reward, encourage, motivation. Right? Now, what is going to be? This is going to cause to change in the behavior. What will be the behavior? Ali quickly cleans his room because he wants a new toy. So the reinforcement was a try and because of that try, okay, he wants to clean. So the behavior changed. His willingness, his attitude, his interest is completely changed. Now, one thing I need to add in both cases, negative, something's removed, positive, something add, behavior always increases. It means either it is a negative in reinforcement or it's a positive in reinforcement. Behavior always increases. Even yesterday, I, I mentioned, you know, that Ali did his homework because behavior changed, okay, in the negative, okay, because he wants to stop, you know, his mom's nagging. So that was, you know, the, you know, the negative reinforcement, but the, at the end, you know, there's a behavior is increasing. So reinforcement, either it's a positive, negative, behavior is always increasing. Now let's see into the punishment. Negative reinforcement, one more thing. Negative reinforcement, it doesn't mean it's a punishment. There's a big difference between negative reinforcement and the punishment. As I mentioned, Negative reinforcement is also changing and increasing the behavior, but punishment is not increasing the behavior. It is stopping or completely removing. That's one. I'll tell you how. Let's see. We have two types of the punishment. Positive punishment and negative punishment. Let's see. Positive punishment and negative punishment. An example I will give it to you. Something. When you 
ask students to stop doing you okay stop talking stop you know that uh, making noise stop you know writing or stop you know laughing stop using cell phone anything means you are going to order something you are ordering somebody or your students to stop an example of positive punishment is scolding a students to get the students stop texting in the class you order you added something that is a stimulus suddenly okay you worked on it what caused it's removed your order that's the addition okay what has been changed removed texting stop students removing that's a uh, you know that the, what we call removed action so positive means while you are removing you know something okay negative from somebody if your son is writing on the wall when you are stop writing on the wall means you added something that is your order what is going to be removed that he will stop writing on the wall so something negative will be removed okay if something's negative removed means that's a positive somebody stopped smoking okay quit smoking okay that means your mom ask you stop smoking you stopped okay she order you so what happened what changes you know in your what changes you found what is the consequences what is the reflection positive that you quit smoking similarly in negative punishment you remove a pleasant stimulus but here you will not removing the same uh, you know the bad thing here you are going to remove the good good thing pleasant stimulus okay to decrease the behavior for example when a child misbehave a parent can take away a favorite toy so you are decreasing the behavior by announcing a punishment at the punishment they remove its favorite toy you stop you ask your child okay that don't make a noise otherwise i'll not take you outside in the park in the mall so this is a pleasant stimulus okay which going to decrease the behavior so we always use you know these technique tech uh, techniques especially in the homes moms and fathers they deal uh, with children like that okay stop doing this one otherwise i will do blah blah blah, blah. means you are removing something uh, good uh, from you know in order to stop or to decrease that behavior so the negative okay you know here you are removing something good in order this is a negative okay to bring a positive change okay and in positive you are ordering okay in order to remove that negative thing so these are the vice versa but in order to influence a, instill a good attitude in the uh, individual so the guys this is a positive and negative punishment i hope that you understood okay if you have any question regarding that you may ask me if you didn't subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel your comments your likeness your uh, suggestion will be highly appreciated we'll be meeting in the next lesson with a new topic of the bloom taxonomy and uh, hope that you will be cooperating and you will be uh, appreciating and for upcoming lessons thank you have a good day